parents, I'm just going to make a little post of a math resource that we use a lot in our math curriculum, and that is our 10 frame. Um, combinations that make 10, so two numbers that add up together to make 10. And this is something we really like the kids to be fluent with by the end of first grade. So some kids um, might be using their fingers to figure out what number goes with four to make 10. They might just put up 10 fingers and then put down four and count how many fingers are left. Um, that is okay if that is parlaying into them actually learning their tens facts. Um, we try to move them away from always using their fingers. So we use the tens frames a lot as a visual. So if your child is not fluent with their tens fact, you could try making a tens frame at home. And my tens frame is a five by two rectangle. A tens frame is always made like this. Five boxes on the top, five boxes on the bottom. Perfect for using pennies then as counters to fill this ten. So there's two different ways. Let's say we were trying to figure out what number goes with four to make ten. So we could start by filling the top row, start at the left, fill the top row with four. So we have four counters. How many empty boxes are there? The kids should see five on the bottom and one more makes six. I would prefer for them, they should be very familiar with a five frame. Just know that there are five here on the bottom and one more makes six instead of having to count each individual box. If they have to count each individual box, then let them. Another way we could do this same problem. This is all based on five. We call this five Y's. You could put your four counters into your 10 frame like so. This is pairwise. This is your doubles facts. This is very easy to see that there are four counters here. How many empty boxes? Three and three. So you could use it either way. You could switch it up and do it both different ways. Make a decision that one way your child seems to prefer one way or the other. It's actually good that they know how to do this or see it both ways.